welcome back to my channel so i'm so excited to record today's video because um this means that max's room is um temporarily done because i do want to make some changes here and there but as of now this room finally feels complete and i wanted to share that with you guys so just so you guys know i will be linking a lot of the stuff down below and if you guys have any other questions, you guys can just leave them in the comments for me. But I'm just going to go ahead and start and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I am standing right at the door and this is like a quick overview of his bedroom. His bedroom is little. Here's the little guy. He decided to join us. But anyway, I'm going to start off right here. So here is, I'm standing at the door and to my right hand, we have his closet. And I wanted to show you guys this because this is where I keep some of his toys. This basket right here is from TJ Maxx along with the, um, it's actually, is not a, like for toys, it's a laundry basket. But um, that is how I decided to organize his smaller toys. And then, of course, we have some of his clothes. And right on top, I actually put um, his, what is it called? His crib bedding in that um, tub right there that is from Walmart. And then his, ooh, what is that thing called? A little pillow that you put, um, his bobby. I just put that up there because he no longer uses it. And then that right there is his, um, what is it called? Car seat cover. And then we just have some extra diapers over there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this door right here. And just for decor, we have that little elephant that is from TJ Maxx. And now we're going to move on to this corner right here so um a few months ago i started incorpor incorporating um black and white in this room just because i didn't want it to look so much of a nursery anymore i wanted to be a little bit more grown up so i decided to add this beautiful circle mirror this mirror is from target um it was about 59 bucks i thought it was very affordable because it's very beautiful um i love the way it just like brings life to that wall because for a while there i didn't know what to put on that wall and i just love the way it looks um these floating shelves right here are from hobby lobby and as you guys can see i just um arranged some books for him um this um, little set right here is very special to me because his Mickey nurse just gifted that to him for his birthday last year. And I wanted to share with you guys um, this bed story time. Wait, what did I say? I wanted to share with you guys this bedtime stories. This book is so, so special to me because that is the first book that Carlos and I purchased for Max. Um, that is the first book that Carlos and I purchased for Max. And um, when Max was in the NICU, Carlos would read every single night to him and he would choose a story from that book. And that book is just so special to me. And I will probably keep it forever. But now moving on to these letters up here on top of this window. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby also. I forgot to mention the price on these. I think these were pretty affordable. I think 15 or 14 bucks. And then same for these letters. These letters were, I want to say, a dollar to two each. So super affordable. I love the rustic vibe they have going on. And oh my god, this is like my latest addition to the room that I think that wrapped it up together. Um, so Max is a hat lover. 
and I just wanted to display them in his room and what cuter way than a accordion rack that I found from Amazon it was also very very affordable I think it was like 14 bucks I will link it down for you guys um I just love the way it looks I love the way we have books over there his hats over here very personalized along with his name so right here we have baby <laughs> we have maxi so right here on this other wall we have um a dresser this dresser was from american furniture i honestly don't remember the price and i don't know if it was affordable but i just love how well it goes with the crib which we will move on to in just a second. But yeah, this dresser right here has become so handy. So right here, he this is his sock drawer. He has t-shirts and undershirts, jammies, jeans. And then on this door right here, he has um, these we used to use as like burp cloths. And at some point, I'm sure they were like swaddle blankets. And then he has some down here he has his blankets and then just a few of his shoes right here um he doesn't walk yet so he doesn't really ever use shoes when he's at home so right here on top of the dresser i have um two baskets which which i keep stocked up one with diapers one with wipes lotion lotions butt creams you name it and those two baskets I know are from Walmart my mom gifted them to Max and then right on top we have this beautiful um, wall decor this is from Hobby Lobby as well um, and then right here we just have a sun machine this we bought from TJ Maxx and this is from Target, this is a lamp. You can see all the cables back here because I don't keep them plugged in. We actually have like the outlet plugs because Max is so curious and I just wouldn't feel comfortable leaving it plugged in. I'm gonna move on and talk about the rug because I know Max will wanna go and play here in just a second. So like I said at the beginning, I decided to incorporate black and white just a few weeks or maybe like a month or two ago. Um, so I decided to purchase this rug right here. You have seen it on my living room in a larger version. So this is just a five by seven. This rug is from Target and I absolutely love it. You do need a rug liner, is that what it's called? Like those um, plastic things that go under because it does move. But once that is under, it's pretty sturdy and it's honestly so so beautiful and i just love the way it like brings everything together so as you can tell max's toys are basically around his whole room we do not have a playroom so we do have like his tractor his cow his car his walker and this, this little PlayStation, all of these toys, if I'm not mistaken, are either from Target or TJ Maxx. And this little, what is this called? Like, um, I don't know what this is called, but you know what I mean? This is from Target. So I will link it down below if I can find it for you guys. So now this is an overview of his room, of me standing right where the shelves are at. So now I'm gonna talk about his crib and his sheet. Let me put him down because he was on the crib. So his crib is from Target. That crib was super, super affordable. Um, and I just honestly fell in love with the color. And like I said, it goes perfectly with this dresser right here. So um, I will definitely link the crib down below for you guys. 
Oh, and then I quickly want to talk about this sheet right here. So we usually, Max does not sleep here, so we don't have to change the sheets as often. But we usually have either a black, a gray one, or he has some with like the matches this, like some safari animals in gray and white, or then or like a striped one. But I'm trying to say we usually have like neutral colors. This I know doesn't completely go with the room. But I, I honestly fell in love with it. I found a page on Instagram. They are called Rocky Humans. And I just fell in love with it. They're so pretty. These um, sheets are were created to take like pictures of your baby sleeping. So like they usually do like... So they usually put their babies like right here. And then you can get like a beautiful photograph of them. And I just loved it. So, last but not least, I wanted to talk about um, this beautiful picture. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. And I honestly just fell in love when I saw it. I eventually would like to change it to something more on like the black and white vibe just so it goes better with the room. But for now, that is fine. I love it. I love the way the room looks. Um, I think everything is pretty put together. And I just love coming in here. I um, truly, like, this is, like, a very peaceful room for me. Um, I love my baby. So we usually come in and hang out. Um, and, yeah, let me talk about this thing. So this was actually a purchase that Max's dad made for his own selfish reasons um he just wanted to buy a basketball hoop so we just we just put it on here and i mean whatever like i said we don't have a playroom so this will do for now okay you guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said at the beginning i will be linking everything down below and if you guys enjoyed his nursery please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already bye guys